This is the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. It was a part of the Joint Strike Fighter Program. It is a stealth multi-role combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. It can also provide electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. We will be talking about the technology and variants today. This strange looking thing is an ANAPG-81. It is an AESA, standing for a Active Electronically Scanned Array. It is inside the nose of the aircraft, as you can see. The antenna has 1,676 transmit modules. The air-to-air -air modes and air-to-ground modes have high-resolution mapping. The air-to-ground mode is the most advanced out of the two because there's moving target indication and track. The helmet you see here is actually $400,000. This personally fit helmet display system offers unparalleled situational analysis, visual accuracy and flight safety. The F-35 helmet and visor system is truly an engineering marvel that represents today's fifth generation warfighter. The crazy thing about it is all the flight and mission data is presented on the pilot on a display mounted to the helmet. The F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL. Variant intended for the USAF and other air forces. It is the smallest, lightest version and capable of 9G, the highest of all variants. Although the F-35A currently conducts aerial refueling via boom and receptacle method, the aircraft can be modified for probe fueling, if needed, by the customer. A drag shoot pod can be installed on the F-35A, with the Royal Norwegian Air Force being the first operator to adopt it. The F-35B is a short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall, variant of the aircraft. Similar in size to the A variant, the B sacrifices about a third of the A variant's fuel volume to accommodate the SDLF. This variant is limited to 7G, unlike other variants. The F-35B has no landing hook. The Stovall hook control instead engages conversation between normal and vertical flight. The F-35B is capable of Mach 1.6, like the F-35A, and can perform vertical or sh take short takeoff and landing. The F-35C is a carrier-based variant designed for catapult-assisted takeoff, but arrested recovery. Operations from aircraft carriers. Compared to the F-35A, the F-35C features larger wings with foldable wingtip sections. Larger control services for improved low-speed control, stronger landing gear for the stresses of carrier arrested landings, a twin wheel nose gear, and a strong tail hook for use with carrier arrestor cables. The larger wing area allows for de decreased landing speed with increasing both range and payload. The F 35C is limited to 7.5G. We will get into two special variants that you might not know the F 35 Adur. The F-35 Adur, or no, also known as the Mighty One, is an F-35A with unique Israeli modifications. The US initially refused to allow such changes before permitting Israel to interrogate its own electronic warfare systems, including sensors and countermeasures. The main computer has a plug-and-play function for add-on systems proposals, including an external jamming pod and new Israeli air-to-air -air missiles and guided bombs in the internal weapons bay. A senior IAF official said that the F-35 stealth may be partly overcome with 10 years, despite a 30 to 40 year service life. Thus, Israel's insistence on using their own electronic warfare systems, Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, has considered a two-seat F-35 concept an AIA executive noted there is a known 
demand for two seats, not only from Israel, but from other air forces. IAI plans to produce conformed fuel tanks. This is the CF-35. The Canadian CF-35 was a proposed variant that would differ from the F-35A, though the addition of a drogue parachute and the potential inclusion of an F-35B-C style fueling probe. In 2012, it was revealed that the CF-35 would employ the same boom refueling system as the F-35A. One alternative proposal would have been the adoption of the F-35C for its probe refueling and lower landing speed. However, the Parliamentary Budget Office's report cited the F-35C's limited performance and payload as being too high a price to pay. Following the 2015 federal election, the Liberal Party, whose campaign had included a pledge to cancel the F-35 prosument, formed a new government and commerced an open competition to replace the existing CF-18 Hornet. The CF-35 variant was deemed to too expensive to develop, and the Canadian government decided to not pursue any other modifications in the future fighter capability project, and instead focusing on the potential pursuit of the existing F-35 variant. So this one, guys, was never built, but it was still pretty much a variant. Alright, we don't know much about the F-35D, because it's a 2035 uh, aircraft. Apparently, the F-35D was used as a notional 2035 aircraft to illustrate a hypothetical scenario as part of the 2015 USAF study called the Future Operating Concept. I hope you liked my video, guys. It's my first.